before I forget, the key to being able to access the bolts that are hidden underneath the manifold is this uh, universal joint quarter inch uh, driver that will allow you to uh, get in the, into that tight corner and uh, loosen and remove those bolts. Dr. Silverman with how to change out the valve covers on a type, sorry, Mark V Chrysler Town & Country. Apparently there is no video available on the internet, but I have uh, just disassembled the uh, air intake manifold, so you want to be careful not to drop anything into those, uh, and I'll show you how it all goes back together. But this, the reason I did this, I'm going to zoom in right in there, and over here are the two back screws for the rear valve cover. Now, unlike the Mark IVs and previous, you cannot remove the um, windshield wiper assembly. This is part of the uh, bulkhead. But if you were to take out the air manifold, and it's basically eight bolts and just unplug a few things, you can get, you can actually see these bolts so you're not working blind. Spark plugs, as you see here, um, I numbered the wires so they'll go back in the proper order. But you have to get rid of all this, come back. Now you notice that um, the uh, white rings, they, uh, they go, they lock into the, into the intake manifold here. Pretty straightforward. All right, here's my quarter inch drive with a 5 16 uh, socket on the end of it. Coming in from behind, you can actually see what you're doing. Pull back out. I'll show you how this looks. And you have to work like this, but you can see what you're doing and you won't miss anything. And as you can see, let me turn a flashlight on here. There is our valves. There's the valve cover. It's over there on the ground. I'm going to uh, prepare the take the uh, original rubber off and put a new gasket back in, and we should be good to go. Just as I suspected, uh, when I took the rubber out, it broke. So it was uh, quite tired after 115,000 miles. So here we will uh, put it back together. Has this little grommet, and you have to cut them off, put the new ones on. I would recommend doing it in order so you don't screw up the uh, uh, order of the screws. When you're putting these in, there's a little lip there that has to go through the rubber and sit inside to hold it so that when you put it back in, um, it holds the gasket in place. You do not use Permatex. Repeat, you do not use Permatex on this uh, job. Okay, so these grommets go on one way and they you push them through the valve cover and let me set this here so I can show you what I'm talking about the gasket fits inside a groove you push the piece through and you have to make sure you get it locked around on the inside of that so when you're putting this back together, the, ga the uh, gasket doesn't come off. Again, do not use any kind of Permatex to hold it. This, the screws and the grommet system will hold it together.
Okay, I've begun to put the uh, screws back in. I need to make sure I tighten them in the right order. And uh, as soon as I'm done with that, we'll do the front one. Now you have to move the manifold out of the way so you can get to the front uh, valve cover. And you can see that I have the same problem with getting to the screws in here. This will be a lot easier job since I'm not working backwards, but you do have to remove uh, this hose in order to um, facilitate the removal of the valve cover. Well, it takes a little bit of squeezing in again, and again, I had to uh, disconnect the spark plug wires in order to get the piece to come out easily. Again, I numbered them so they'll go back into place in the right firing order. That's very important, so make sure you mark them. This is two, four, and six, and uh, I'll put that back together, and we'll start um, tightening these screws and putting the manifold back together. The intake manifold is held on by eight 10 millimeter bolts and uh, you want to make sure you get them back in the right position so I've numbered them and I numbered starting in the back one two three four five six seven eight uh, with the sharpie and I'm just going to hand tighten these back on when I put it back on and uh, rotate in a star pattern uh, to tighten these uh, down. You don't want to over torque it because uh, you will of course uh, crack your intake manifold and you don't want to do that. All right. All right, folks, this is the uh, end. Of course, you'd have to reverse this to take it all off, but you have to take these two bolts off and back here, hidden Back here, follow the pipe down. There are two bolts as well. They're both 5 sixteenths, um, so it's real easy to uh, remove. You just take that off, set it aside. You need to uh, disconnect this and take the manifold off, reconnect it, reconnect this hose, um, and we need to put the PVC valve uh, hose back together. It's hidden back here, has two clamps. One here, one here, and then we'll put the uh, air intake manifold, uh, the uh, sorry, the air filter housing, connected back here, and there's a plug for that, um, and that's uh, that's it. The next thing, to, oh, and uh, there's one hose that goes into here from the uh, air filter manifold. Um, make sure you put all these hoses back together and uh, basically f uh, put your car back together like you found it. We'll uh, put it all back in a minute and uh, see how it runs. Well, it's been running for about a minute or two now. There's the uh, air filter manifold back in place, all the poses. Um, what caused me to do this was my oil was low, but not low enough to set off the uh, sensor. But when I made a sharp U-turn, uh, the check oil light came on. So I, I reached in the back, and of course there was a telltale sign of leaking oil on the uh, rear manifold out of sight where you can't see it. The front uh, valve cover gasket was just pretty, in pretty good shape, no sign of leakage, but the rear was just absolutely shot. Um, so, this has been another Dr. Silverman project. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. It should take you about an hour and a half to two hours. You shouldn't break your knuckles on this project. If you um, are comfortable enough um, moving a few parts out of the way, you can handle this too. Have a great day.